I don't see any reason to be ugly in the world at all. And, you know, and, and I, and, and I think that, you know, punk rock for me was such a, and was and is um, such the right place for me because it was the place where people were really challenging conventional thinking and they were kind of, I, I was so excited to find people who gave a fuck, who cared, because it seemed like it, everything in rock and roll world was just about making money or getting laid or whatever. And I found it really, that seemed trite and um, and abusive. Whereas within the punk world, even though it has many shades and, um, and there's a lot of people who are involved with punk who are I have a handful. Um, the for me, the the what really was interesting about it was that it was a countercultural thing. And you know, you said it earlier, like you said, you're really different than like what's most of society, right? Exactly, because most of society is the mainstream, and the mainstream is in many ways what has been cultivated by the machine, the corporate machinery. So let's not do that. You know, that's how it's not like I I often look at situation people are like, well, you have to do this. Like, I'm like, well, in that case, I'm definitely not doing that. You know, someone said, well, you have to do it this way. If you, you know, you can't. I mean, Fugazi was like a ongoing kind of celebration of pushing it back in people's face, you know, because, you know, in the very beginning, they said, well, you can do this now. You can do a $5 door now, but you're not going to do this in a year. And we did. We continued to do it. And they said, like, well, you can, you know, you can run your, you can run the band now, but at some point you're gonna have to get management. But we didn't, you know, or you have to get a publicist, but we didn't. You know, or you have, or your label won't do that. But it's all they're wrong. And the reason most people, when people say that, I think they're really what they're either they're either repeating what they've heard or um <clears throat> They came to a certain point in their own lives or careers in which they felt scared and they chose something out of fear. Um, and but then when someone else comes along, they're like, Well, you you're crazy to do that because that's their fear, not my fear. Um, I think it's way more interesting to just try to have creative response, to try to think of other ways to navigate things. Um, but it, here's the thing about you know. I never really use the word DIY, do it yourself. I don't really, it's not really like, even though it's a tenant that's been placed on me, it's not really something that I was like, you know, I mean, like, you know, DIY, it's not really my, um, I don't know. I just never thought about it like that, but taking it DIY at face value, the operative word to fucking do it. And that's the thing about like what people, I think most people don't really understand is that like we work. Like, like what did I talk? I told you today, I was like putting in storm windows and fixing, you know, home doing home repair. And then for the last two weeks, I've been packing records and I was in the studio and I'm like, you know, and pay, writing royalty checks. It's an enormous amount of work. Um, but that's the gift. Mm -hmm. That's the gift. Can you imagine that you? made some music 40 some years ago and people still give a damn. And That's I think, cool. well, if they give a damn, so do I. Yeah. I love that. Hi, this is Sam from the Bobby Lee's and this song is called radiator. It's the first song we made. <laughs> 